When you're in the market for a wireless keyboard and mouse, but you want something that's a little bit different, what's the next thing you buy? How about a wireless keyboard with a space to hold your cell phone? And it's purple, apparently. Even though on the box, it is clearly black. This is the Cinda Wireless Keyboard and Mouse. So you may be asking yourself, why am I showing the back of the box? Well, that's because someone stuck shipping labels all over the front of the box, so that side just doesn't look good on camera. Puppy, what do you think about that shipping label placement? Correct. By the way, folks, if you're having fun with this, like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay on top of my content. So back to the back. Let's take this out of the box. Up top, we've got the Cinda logo all nice and shiny. You've got an S on the bottom, nothing on the side, and back to the top and back to the shipping label slaughterhouse. By the way, check out the puncture wound this thing suffered in transit. Apparently, it's a tough life out there for wireless keyboards. All right, so the unboxing knife is gonna chop through this piece of tape, and that should be enough to grant us access. Like I said, this keyboard mouse combo is available in a few different colors, so hopefully you'll find one that fits your personality. What color would you buy? Let me know in the comments. So I've already found the mouse, looking nice and mobile even in its packaging. But before I can dig much deeper into this unboxing experience, it becomes apparent that my puppy wants to be involved too. Round and round she circles the couch, and round, and round, and round, and round, and round. As I unbox this keyboard, I wonder how the purple color is going to look. A cynical part of me fears it's going to look garish and plasticky. But maybe not. Maybe this shade of purple will have the same depth and contemplation of a winter sunset and serve each time I use it to remind me of the wonder of technology and how it can help us improve and enjoy the world we share. No, I'm being totally pretentious. It's just a two-tone purple and black keyboard, and while the build is plastic, it doesn't look half bad. All right, let's face it. This has pretty much become a video about my dog at this point. What do you think about the keyboard, puppy? Do you like that color? It's kind of nice, right? It kind of looks like that sweater your mommy made you. Anyway, we've got a user's manual over here, and here's the mouse. It looks pretty cool, and it moves pretty well, and it dawns on me that my rubberized table covering is pretty much just a gigantic mouse pad. So, nice. There's the keyboard itself. And as you can see, it has this removable silicone cover for protection. You know, the silicone kind of reminds me of a sci-fi movie where someone's creeping around in an air duct and they find the shed skin of an alien creature and they're just like, yeah, that's probably nothing to worry about. So there's the keyboard again. A lovely contrast of black keys against purple casing, housing. I don't know, what do you call the body of a keyboard? There's the spot for your cell phone, and just above the number pad, there's your on-off switch. Nice. If I have one complaint, it's that there's no elevation tabs on the back. You know those little feet that prop up the keyboard? Yeah, I miss those. But you do have a spot for two AAA batteries. Similar story with a mouse. You slide open this panel, and you can place a single AA battery inside. There's even a spot to store the USB receiver for the mouse and keyboard's wireless connectivity. Build-wise, the whole thing is pretty light. We are dealing largely with plastic construction. Hey, puppy, no, 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 that's my mouse. So, like I said, pretty light, but it doesn't feel flimsy to me. Hopefully it should last a while. Puppy, come on, it's my mouse. It is my mouse, puppy. I know you love the color, but come on. Anyway, if you wanted to see how a phone fits into place, it fits into place just like this. And I've been able to use both horizontal and vertical positions. Though for vertical, it held some phones better than others. This phone slot is the main reason I bought this keyboard. I run timers constantly while I'm working, and being able to have a timer app running on my phone right on my keyboard is just super convenient. So there it is, the Cinda Wireless Keyboard and Mouse. It'll hold a cell phone, and you can get it in multiple colors. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, hit the bell, check me out on Twitter at Unboxer of Worlds, and stay tuned for more fun unboxing videos. In the meantime, my dog's about to start typing her puppy manifesto. It's about treats.